Hey guys, welcome to VFX Pipeline channel. My name is Rajiv and in this video we will see the first look of Unreal Engine 5. Recently Unreal Engine 5 revealed the uh, uh, look, first look and they revealed two technologies which they recently add inside Unreal Engine 5. Let's just see what are these technologies and how these technologies make Unreal Engine 5 different from Unreal Engine 4. Let me just play with this video and I will watch this video with you guys. First look is amazing. Wow. So this is what uh, the new technology which is coming with Unreal Engine is uh, Nanit Virtualized Geometry where you can see million, not even million, billions of triangles. And uh, we'll see this in our video where they will explain in where Hey, you can see that the film quality assets with billions of triangle and that's really really cool you can look at the photorealism in this and it's saying that no more polygon polygon budgets and this is the zbrush model they straightforward imported here no bump map normal maps here interesting right wow no normal maps needed and that's what they're claiming in this Unreal Engine 5 and this is the second technology which is coming with Unreal Engine 5 is Lumin and this is fully dynamic real-time global illumination and the lighting the bounce light comes with this the global illumination coming it's really amazing look at this like you just see the way light bounce and this is all real-time Interesting thing is this is all real time. Amazing. Wow. Look at the scale. This is interesting. I like this particle system, Niagara. Where you can have your particles are actually interacting with your light. Wow. And this is also the particle system. I don't know in this gaming, uh, all this, uh, the, the look of this character is still the gaming gamey gamify look but rest of the environment if you just focus on environment is photorealistic it looks like a set of a movie the birds flying is very interesting and this is the jump and you can see the light uh, even with this uh, blue light look look at the this area the blue light which is bouncing with everything here you can see this play with it inside wow wow jump ah correct so this area where you can see the depth of the light which is going and the interesting thing is even the bounce light which is coming from this is uh, can illuminate very photorealistic this is really cool effects particle effects interesting let's just see the full demo of this i already have that let me just load that here and uh, let me just audio disable okay so here actual demo starts where we can see this uh, the entire set is there and this gameplay is in playstation guys so this is not in pc but in uh, the only reason which is actually this is not uh, released yet because uh, epic is trying to uh, increase the fps fps uh, for playing this here this is interesting i mean look at the assets here which is used this is photorealistic assets downloaded from mega scan and mega scan have a lot of this kind of stuff where you can actually download and compose all your scene shots it's completely photorealistic the asset is actually the film quality assets and the texture is actually 8k texture wow interesting okay so now uh, when this gameplay is start here you can also see that the overall the the, the triangulated geometry eh, they are showing about the triangulated geometry that how much triangles are used in this how many triangles are there how dense the geometries are and the way the light interact with this geometry and uh, all this thing is actually in real time I mean in, in traditionally you can get this kind of effect by 
rendering when you render a lot of passes occlusion pass depth a light pass a depth pass and this merge make the compositing add glow here you are seeing all this thing in real time even you can change the light they see the way they are actually changing the light is interesting right where you can move the light and you can just see the how it's affecting the bounce now as they are going forward the interesting thing here is the the, the dirt and uh, you can see there are some debris also coming down right a smoke voice is not not going to be uh, real and i mean i can see the smoke particles that the the dust here is still looking not non photorealistic but overall the set if you just focus on the set it's really impressive I mean, it's like in VFX feature films, like we can definitely go with these kind of stuff where we can use virtual production and put this set in the back on the LED screens, and then we can start projecting our instead of this character here, we can actually start adding our character. This is really cool effect of the particles where the particles, the birds are flying, right? And the interesting thing is, some of the birds are actually go and sit there. <laughs> That's actually a really good thing. It's add more realism. Another thing is they are actually adding here is the fluids. Uh, they are they are claiming that they are adding some fluids with the particles, but still it's not realistic. And the smoke you can see here in this area, uh, the dirt which is falling from the this rock mountain is actually it's not, not realistic, but it's, it's still it's it's fine in the game sense. The water interaction is not good. Here you can see the splashes are missing, and uh, I believe here. They are the more focused on the overall lighting and the environment of that. They are focusing more on the lumen and the netted uh, system. Uh, I believe that soon we will get some sort of like a particle system, water system inside this to get some similar effect that we are able to get, achieve with flip simulations in Houdini and real flow, like more inter-particle collisions. But I don't know how long it will be take how, and how easy it is to put inside a game engine. But uh, this is really interesting. If if uh, if we can add some more, uh, I mean, realistic hair, uh, Unreal already added hair system. I don't know when they are actually going to put this in live. If we can put this inside in character here, that will be add more realism. And interesting thing here, I see this this cloth. As you can see, the scarf of uh, this character is actually uh, interacting very dynamically. That's also great. Unreal Engine is actually reaching a limit where photorealism is actually very easy to achieve. I mean, they make the technology so easy for everyone, so everyone can actually go and and play around with these kind of stuff. And film industry, VFX industry, you can see the recent movies uh, where ILM did all this kind of testing with the uh, the Mandalorian and all all this like movies. They are actually started using inside virtual production and also. I mean, it pre-visualization is more than enough. It's, it's almost a feature film quality. I I'm seriously impressed with the the level of detail. The the set overall set is amazing. And now when she's enter here, and uh, now see the see the darkness here, and when she start the lighting and this now it's it's uh, illuminate the entire. Uh, here you can see this. Uh, when the light goes there is some sort of torch and the bounce light which is coming the blue bounce light <laughs> Wow, and I like this uh, in Insects which is creating using Niagara particle system Right, so and they are interact interacting with the light so interestingly. I mean look at this How they are actually affecting this is amazing Right Wow, and another interesting thing is here when the destruction is start and the how light interact with the environment so imagine that if it is a feature film set and uh, this is the character we can easily put some live characters here and uh, then this kind of simulation we can start and this is where the zebras uh, model came and this have like millions of uh, triangles in this no normal maps no other things required in this i mean this is incredible and not even this when she enter inside, there are 500 different statues here and they all have the same amount of level of details. 
So this is something which is really groundbreaking stuff. I mean, Unreal Engine, you really did a very good job in this. We are. I'm seriously waiting. I'm. I'm I want to. I want to play around with this. I want to play around with Unreal Engine Five. What kind? What kind of thing actually we can achieve in this? Seriously, we go with that. And uh, now the interesting thing will start when she actually start acting in the new part. The, the another particle system will appear here when she start interacting. Yeah. Uh, here i don't know why i don't see that this looks again the gaming gaming file look uh, i'm looking more in in a feature film and the realist realism point of view like how realistic it is for me is like because in vfx if we can if we can use this uh as a our background plate this is really cool look right see the way the light up interact with this i mean unreal engine you guys really did very good job in lighting in real time lighting i believe that uh, these kind of uh, uh, options with the decent amount of hardware required i mean not everyone is not able to utilize that rtx 8000 and biggest graphic card to just achieve this for demo is fine but make it usable so on an average consumer card also can able to utilize these kind of power and the artist and the VFX guys, the VFX artists who want to learn these kind of stuff so they can able to run in a decent, uh, not entry level but at least medium level graphic cards here to achieve these all kind of things. And the set is also important. This is, look at this, this particle effects. I like that. Wow. And the destruction is start and now the coolest part of this uh, uh, entire demo will start where you see the entire landscape. This is not just one compact scene. This is a huge landscape here. Wow. And look at this. If, if you imagine if you have this, this set in Maya, how are you going to handle all these kind of assets here? And now the real time destruction starts. And this is the way right? she start flying and the things are breaking. Wow. And the chaos destruction system is also amazing. I'm I'm waiting for that to actually testing out. I already have this, uh, but it still is in a beta version. Amazing guys, and this is where Unreal Engine 5 taking the entire CG gaming industry into completely new direction where realism is the important thing. I mean, this is the last thing which is uh, really interesting. The entire particle system here. So Unreal Engine 5, I really want to use that as soon as, I don't know when uh, when is the release date for that. But uh, this is what uh, Unreal Engine uh, revealed and uh, this is my review. A few points also I want to add in the end before I make end this. Uh, Unreal Engine is definitely in now these days more and more visual effects and, and uh, any, uh, visual effects, VFX studios are actually started using that. And the reason is because it's a real time, uh, real time. Uh, all these kind of uh, geometries we can visualize. We can we can change the character. We can change the lighting. And this is very useful for directors, DOPs to actually decide, make a decision for what kind of thing they can shoot on location. Unreal Engine is actually a very good tool in that. I'm personally already started Unreal Engine, and uh, I'm looking for for more option there this right now i already have the latest version of unreal engine which is 4.25 and i'm already created few uh, video tutorial in my vfx pipeline channel so guys hit like if you like this video and please subscribe to vfx pipeline channel i'm going to come with some more interesting video tutorials for you guys and also software reviews like that okay so i'll see you in my next videos thank you guys